Hey guys, a little different type of project for me. Most everything I do is on my little MacBook Air here. I haven't had it for very long, but I do all my video editing, graphics work, and everything on it. However, some of the CAD software and things you've seen, I do on uh, PCs. Now, I don't really have an up-to-date PC anymore. The last one I had was a desktop that I've had for five years now, and it's just getting a little old. So what I've decided to do since I ordered that brand new Robo 3D 3D printer that should be here in the next month or so, I have uh, decided that I need to build a PC specifically for it that I can use to run all of my CAD programs and all of that type of thing. So uh, with the help of a friend, uh, I've decided on uh, all of the uh, parts and things like that to build this new PC and tonight I picked up most of those. So this isn't going to be an absolutely incredible PC, but it should be something that should be plenty powerful for the CAD programs that I am going to run. Now this is my very first PC build from the ground up. Never done anything like this before. I'm a complete newbie at this, but with uh, the help of uh, that friend, Aaron, who has done this um, more than I have, he's mostly into gaming PCs, but I had him do some research for me and help me out with some decisions, and we decided on uh, the products that we have here in front of me. Now, almost everything is here except for the uh, hard drive that I'll be using that I'm ordering online. The rest of this I was able to pick up here locally at Micro Center for uh, nearly the same prices, and some things I actually got cheaper than I could find online uh, at like Tiger Direct or Newegg or whatnot. And like I said, this isn't made to be a top of line PC, just something that should run the uh, CAD software that I'm going to run without. First of all, I uh, went with the mini ITX sized case here. Um, I forgot the actual brand name of this case, but uh, I believe it's a, a pretty, common, pretty common case uh, that should, should suit just fine for what I'm going to do. I went with an AMD processor. Uh, it's got, and we did that based on the board and everything that I was using. This was all decisions that were help made by uh, by Aaron. I can't say that I knew exactly which way to uh, to go with all this, but anyway, I went with A10 6800K. So, and with that, we decided to run the uh, this ASRock motherboard. Uh, with built-in, it's got the built-in graphics and everything that I won't be doing an external video card for now. Uh, I think the one that's in here will run the uh, the programs that I'm running without much of an issue. And for that, we went with the uh, we went with the BattleX or by Crucial 16 gig of RAM. It's the uh, 1866 megahertz version. So that uh, sh that is the most that I can run, I believe, with this motherboard and with the version of Windows that I'll be running. Uh, I'll, be running. Uh, I'll be running Windows 7, and it's the Home Premium, I think. So uh, I just got a uh, OEM System Builders pack to do that. So yeah, Home Premium, uh, Windows 7. And then for my uh, power supply, I went with a, a, a basic. This is a Corsair. It's a the 430M, so uh, modular to help clean up the case for uh, and only run into the things that are absolutely necessary. Like I said, I purchased the hard drive and everything. It should be here. Going with a 500 gig uh, hybrid drive, 7200 RPM with uh, a 4 gig uh, SSD uh, combined with it as well. So I'm uh, building this PC for about 500 bucks. So. Uh, not that bad for something that should be able to run CAD much better than anything I've had in the past. So looking forward to this build. Hopefully get into it a little bit more over the next uh, week. Uh, that's what I've got going on, and uh, I'm looking forward to this thing. It's something that I've never tried before, and I think it can, uh, can be a little interesting and hopefully learn something new. And I've noticed already after posting on the Facebook page that uh, a lot of the guys that are already on the page and interested in this type of thing are obviously uh, well-versed in this as well, so I've been able to get some uh, good tips here and there. So looking forward to learning more about it and um, getting further into this thing. So we'll uh, see you guys later this week on this deal. Also, once again, don't forget to go check out the December giveaway video uh, for uh, a chance to win some HD hardware as well as uh, the DMG Wraith uh, Stiffy kit in the Wraith chassis. So um, make sure December giveaway video uh, and by the end of December, hope to give away that chassis as well as some hardware. So. Anyway, guys, that's, uh, that's all I got. Hopefully we uh, make some more progress on this, and we'll see you guys later.